Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about Oracle Cloud. In this video, I will show another option for uh, your media center. This time, I will show how you can install your Jellyfin in your media center. Because our cloud never changed the IP address, you don't need to choose the proxy manager to manage your website. But I like to have a website just because it's easy for me to remember. I don't need to remember the number. So in this video as well, we're gonna show how you can add your website to the proxy manager. In my case, I'm using a Cloudflare website, so I will need to do a Cloudflare challenge. But if you're using the DockerDNS or any other website, it's totally fine for you. But then you're gonna ask Alan, in last video show how you can install AMB. Why you want me to install Jellyfin as well? And the answer is quite easy. Jellyfin is another option of a media center. Both Jellyfin and AMB, they're really similar. Basically, uh, Jellyfin is made with the same code or similar code. But the difference is that AMB go for a pay option where you need to pay to have all these ads or these extras. But the Jellyfin don't need to have it. It's totally free, it's still totally open source, and you are allowed to choose all the add-ons or all the application directly in the Jellyfin without any extra cost. So this reason that it's quite interesting to you, install Jellyfin in your server. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and let's do it. Before I go through the process to install the Jellyfin and how to set up and see how it's work, first we're gonna go through the basics. The instance that I'm using, it's an Oracle Cloud instance where it have a A1 flex, that means that it's ARM system with only one core, one gigabit of internet and six gigabytes of run. In this machine, I'm using Ubuntu just because it's easy and work better for this system. Also, if I come here in my virtual cloud and I click here now in my subnet and default security, I have some ports that allow you to access. The first one will be the port 9000 where I access through the port 10 to do all my configuration. The second one will be my proxy manager where I have access from my proxy manager to be able to add these extra websites. Next one will be the port 8 where it allowed me to do the HTTP protocol and the port 443 where it allowed me to do the HTTPS protocol, the encrypt protocol. Also, I have the port 8096. You're gonna ask, yeah, Alan, it's exactly the same as the AMB. Yes, exactly the same port. Okay, I have everything in mind. We're gonna go back for our instance and look for our IP address. Okay, what else I need to have in my system? I need to have Arclone install. If you didn't install Arclone, please look for the card in the top or the link in the description where I show how you can install the Arclone. Also, what else I need to have? I need to have Docker install. Otherwise, how I can install a Docker container without Docker? And the last thing that we're gonna need to have is have the portainer install as well. In this way, you can manage your application. Now, if we go to the portainer, I read the setup, it's not a fresh installation. Here my portainer, I have already some containers and I have some volumes. Which container that I have installed already? I have the stock and I have the NX proxy manager install. And this one, exactly the same way that I show how to install the AMB. Basically, I get this Docker Compose exactly from this website. Here they leave the new revision where they don't add the database because I had the old one, so I already have the data. Here I have some information, what I need to look. The port that I use, it means that port 8 and 443 for my HTTP and HTTPS protocol. The port 8 one to configure it. And here my database information with my user, my password, and my description of the database and where I'm saving. I'm saving this folder, all the informations. Don't worry, all the description, you can find the link in the description where you can access it. Have this one done, I could access my proxy manager. Here my proxy manager, I don't have any website or any proxy ad. So what next application that I need to have? I need to install the Jellyfin. So to install the Jellyfin is quite easy. I can come here and put add a stock and I define the name Jellyfin. Now we'll go in the image for the Jellyfin where I can access it. Here in the image that we're gonna use, it's Linux Server Jellyfin has been updated 40 minutes ago, so it just has been updated. If I go a little bit down, 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 I can see that this program have acted to 8664 bits, as well system ARM. Because we are using an Ampere system, it means that it will be an ARM CPU, so it will work fine. 
if I go down here, I know that it's uh, this Docker Compose that I'm gonna use. Before I start to set up anything for Docker Compose, I need to understand what the parameters that I need to change and what's important for me. If I go a little bit down, I know that the ports that I use is the web, optional for HTTPS, it's fine, as well the other ports that they can offer us. In the PYD PJD, in the previous video, I show you how to discover the PYD for your user. Basically, you're gonna put ID at Ubuntu, in my case, and I believe that everyone's case will be 1001, so you can use exactly the same if you're using this system. If I go down the time zone that I need to modify, this Jellyfin Publish URL, it's optional, you can remove because we are using a website, but if you want, yes, you can use exactly the same, or you can change the name for your necessity. I will not change, but you can do it. The volumes that we need to configure will be the volume configuration, TV show, move and library. We're not gonna do it because I want to only have one volume for configuration and one volume for media. And that's after this one, I can locate all my files inside this media. I don't need to create one volume for each folder that will be make, that this will make my life much easier. As well, we'll have all the device. Because we're not using Raspberry Pi or nothing close for Raspberry Pi, it will be pointless to define a device. So now we can come back here and we can copy our Docker Compose. Once that I copy my Docker Compose, I will be back in my Protainer and I will pass this Docker Compose. Now I will start to modify my Docker Compose. First thing, I will remove this line because I told it's not necessary. Also, I will modify my PYD PJD, as I told it's one thousand one and one thousand one. My path, where I'm gonna save, I will save in slash nmt slash docker slash slash jellyfin jellyfin, my configuration. Now here I will define where is my media. So I'll we'll put slash nmt cloud two dot slash media. It means that my folder will call media and will locate this cloud where I already set up my arc clone. I can come here and remove this information. The ports I can leave exactly the same because will not affect me at all. And the device I will need to remove only to avoid any error. Once that everything is set up here, I can come here and put deployed stack. Once that finished deployed stack, I will come here in my container, my jellyfin, log, and I will see what it's going on. Nothing so important is going on, so I can try to access this port. How I'm gonna do it? I come here in container and I click in the port 896. First time that I open, they will have this page Welcome to Jellyfin. So I will define the language that I'm using English Unit Kingdom, that's great. Next, my username will be Cyberlab and my password test123. And I can put next. Now we'll add my library. I'll put add. I'll put as uh, or others. I will get some YouTube videos only for show you. I come here in media. I go here in my YouTube and put OK. Now I can modify any other information. Yes, but in my case I don't need to do it, and I can put OK. Once that I add my first library, I can add as many libraries as I want, and I put next. Now define the language. Country will be your Kingdom English. It's fine, and I put next. Now I need to enable automatic port mapping only to avoid any issue and I put next again and I can finish it. Once that I finish, they ask you for do the login, so let's do it. Once that you did the login, there already appear my movies that I define. If I come here in dashboard, I can see my information. They are using ARM64 and the system that I use it's Linux. Now I can come back here when I play this video. But before I play the video, you can see this IP address. I don't like to memorize this IP address because it's bad for me. So what can I do? I can come here in my proxy manager. I can add my website for it. I can put add a proxy host. The host that I will use or the site that I will use will be jellyfin.sauberlab.com and my host will be exactly the same, 150.2. 230.108.70 and the port 896. I can put add stock, add, come here in my SSL and I can put, I can put request a new SSL, force, 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 
and enable. So I select all these options. In my case, I'm using Cloudflare. So I can come here, put use a DNS challenge. I can select my Cloudflare and here I can look for my IP key. I can go in the website for the Cloudflare, look for, for my IP key and add. In this way, they will create a SSL certification where they will have a challenge. So uh, who will issue the certification will be Cloudflare have this one, now I can put agree and I put save. If you did everything right, now you should be able to access your website, but first let's go for my SL certification. As I told, because I create my SSL certification through the Cloudflare, now they say let's encrypt Cloudflare. If not, we'll show only let's encrypt. So now if I click in my website, I should be able to access my Jellyfin. If this one happen and you try to connect, they will not connect because you need to come here and delete and then you can refresh the page and now you will have access for your Jellyfin. We're gonna do the login the same way and put singing. Now we're gonna check if it really work because I don't know if it's work well. So if I come here and put play, they already start to play. This one is one of the videos that I produce that it's in a directly transmission in 1080p. So I can transcode it in a low resolution. Yes, I can. I come here and put uh, 480. Uh, they will process a little bit. Let's wait to do the download from the Google. I can play as 480p. If I come back in my Oracle Cloud, I can see that uh, they are processing. Let's refresh this metric. And you can see that my CPU is going up. This reason that sometimes they will buffer and this reason that they will be a little bit low sometimes because I'm using only one core. If I'm using a little bit more, look like two or four cores, the performance will be much better, but it's able to play a red. If you look, this is a stage I was trying to do a transcription the same way. And because it was only one core, it was 99%, 9%. As well, if I come here down, I can see that uh, the network is going up because they are download all the information, all the media when it's uh, playing. They will download for the Google Drive, in my case, and that they will save a buffer in the cache and that uh, from the cache they will play for you. Really quick video, but in this way you can understand how you can install Jellyfin in your Oracle Cloud in your instance and how they will run if you have only one CPU. Of course, if you dedicate all the four ones, they will run more smoothly and will have a little bit better performance. So if you like this video and think that it was useful for you, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.